My name is Tiago Primo. I am originally from Brazil and I have been here in the U.S. since 2005. Growing up, you know, in Brazil, uh, uh, I was raised as a Catholic, but I didn't really go to church much, much often. Just when, you know, my grandma or my mom would want me to go. I thought that to be a good Christian believing God, all you had to do is just do the right thing. Don't steal, do work, treat well your mother, things like that. So I was never really a church person. But then in 2011, my wife and I moved from Massachusetts here to North Carolina, Charlotte. And uh, she started saying, hey, let's visit a church. You know, that let's find something around here. She found online uh, uh, this church. It was in Kannapolis. And after she talking, 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 I decided to go just so she wouldn't ask no more. So I would be, you know, free. And uh, as I walked in, it was a totally different experience. It's, uh, you know, you hear actually good music. And uh, uh, it's the first time that I didn't fall asleep in the church. It was actually awesome. And that's when I started, you know, uh, coming to the church that today is Hope City. My faith has changed in a huge way since I started attending Hope City. It's just the way the message is, 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 uh, um, is given, the way we, it's just an easy way that, that really anybody can understand. It's not judgmental. There's not a lot of difficult words. You know, the pastors, you know, Robbie would be there just making jokes and in the middle of the service. And that's things that, that, that helps me pay attention and actually, you know, uh, uh, understand the message. And it is very simple because every week you bring something out that you can actually use in the real world. And it definitely helped uh, 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 me to grow, you know, my, my relationship with God. He helped me to meet a lot of people that helped me through the process. Most of my friends, let reframe that. All of my friends are from Hope City or I've met at Hope City. It's more than a church, a family, you know, it's a place that, that I love to go and I love to stay and I love to volunteer, do what I do. I take care of the lights over there at the church and it, I just love it because I know that, you know, uh, uh, um, light adds a feeling to the, the worship experience and it, it, it's, it just touches you in those parts of the song there is very, I don't know even how the word is, uh, I say romantic and Robbie makes fun of me. It's just a very fulfilling experience to being able to volunteer doing something that God gave me, the ability He gave me, uh, uh, and something that I can do to help, you know, uh, um, everybody experience or have a better worship experience. And uh, uh, um, in that, in, in the end, it's just to bring more people to Jesus because that's what got me. When I walked in and I saw the loud music, the cool lights, the cool everything, that's what got me. It's not the sermon that got me. It was the, the, the lights, the music, the whole service. That's something that got me. And, but I was there, then I was able to learn more about the Bible, learn more about God and everything I know today. But everything started with a note and a light. And I loved it. 